Toy Story 2 was meant to go direct to video, but then it made a gazillion dollars and became one of the few sequels in cinema history that are actually better than the original. The greatest sequel ever. It is so good that four minutes from the film is enough to teach you pretty much anything you need to know about screenwriting, starting with character. I'll use these four minutes to warn you about five character killers, advocate the superpower that beats likability, and prove that character equals plot. Until you understand this, you should not be allowed to touch Final Draft. In the mere four minutes of this clip, we meet Woody, Wheezy, Mom, Buzz, the Sergeant, the Potato Heads, Rex, Buster, Slinky, Ham, Bo Peep, Little Girl, Little Girl's Mom, and The Collector. That includes four new characters, six characters that impact on the plot, and no less than 14 speaking parts. Is that too many? Many novices struggle with more than five characters, but nobody has ever complained about Toy Story 2. When it feels like there are too many characters, it's often because they're too similar. When we can't tell your characters apart, you have a problem. Here's one way of solving this. In the art of dramatic writing, Lajos Egri introduces the bone structure. It describes the character in three ways physiognomy, sociology, and psychology. Woody is a tall, fabric cowboy ragdoll. He's everybody's best friend and leader of the toys. He's brave, smart, determined, and passionate. Buzz is a big, shiny plastic space ranger toy. Woody's best friend and former rival. He's firm, clear, and rule-driven. Sometimes, even with all three checked off, we still can't tell characters apart. Why? The description is too vague. Some of the most important qualities in effective writing are specificity and precision. A tall, brave cowboy describes Woody both in terms of physiognomy, sociology and psychology, yet it doesn't uniquely identify him because, you know, these guys. Now, if we were to describe him as brave, smart and kind, that would be a more precise psychology. Mission accomplished? Not quite. It feels a little, you know, one-sided, as if he's immutably positive. It's too shallow. Woody has many faces. We see him confused, annoyed, curious, concerned, indignant, responsible, smart, brave, steadfast, and stunned. Even if some of these are moods rather than traits, Woody is still clearly a rounded, dimensional character. Now, if there's one thing that Woody cannot be blamed off, it's that he's too passive. He's an active character. He launches the emergency roll call, hides Wheezy from Mother, calls Buster, and starts to rescue. He's always on the move. In Toy Story 2, the characters are not too many, too similar, too vague, too shallow, or too passive. Instead, they're distinct, but different, specific, rounded, and active. This last essential quality brings us to the one superpower that makes a character unforgettable. Some say character is everything. No, it's not. Character plus goal gets you closer. Aaron Sorkin says drama is intention plus obstacle. But even this will run out of steam pretty fast. What is missing is one critical character trait to make your characters compelling. Can you guess? I'll give you two seconds. Resolve or strong determination. Saving Wheezy is not an easy undertaking, and along the way, Woody thinks, struggles, and fails. But he never gives up. And even if you have a character who's not 100% likable, Resolve is your out-of-jail-free card. But how do you make this happen as a writer? How do you show this? This is the capstone of today's video, in which, remember, I would prove character equals plot. We know what we want, a bunch of characters that are not too similar, too vague, too shallow or too passive, and at least one main character with resolve. This, like any character trait, you introduce by contrast. We contrast the traits of one character against those of another by showing the difference in their behavior or reaction to a similar stimulus or event. I'm starting to doubt your resolve. In our Toy Story clip, there is a great example right at the beginning. The stimulus is the yard sale. The reactions from Woody and Wheezy are clearly contrasted. Wheezy's reaction is passive and cynical. Woody's reaction is active and positive. Thanks to the shared event of the yard sale, we can compare their responses and understand their character. It's your job as a writer to create these trigger events to demonstrate your character's traits. And this we call plot. 
Thanks to only four minutes of great storytelling, I helped you avoid five major character killers. I introduced you to the superpower that makes any character compelling, and I showed you how there's no character without plot. You enjoyed that? Well, what are you waiting for? Click that button and subscribe. To support us and make a real difference in your own writing, check out www.screenwriting.courses. Check the resources below this video and become a superior writer in only four weeks. Happy watching, happy writing. Cheers.